The Clippers have a new interim CEO. It's Dick Parsons, former chairman of Citigroup and of Time Warner. I'm Kerry Chow, joined by ESPN Los Angeles' Arash Markazi. Arash, who is Dick Parsons and why was he chosen for this job? Well, really, the league couldn't have made a bigger splash for a CEO than Dick Parsons. We're talking about a lawyer with ties to, to uh, Rockefeller, President Barack Obama, as you mentioned, chairman and CEO of Time Warner, chairman of uh, City Group. So he's done a lot in his life, and he's a big fan of the game. And, and I know that the league was talking to him, um, but again, a huge get for the league plus the Clippers here. All right, this announcement, coupled with Shelly Sterling, uh, Donald Sterling's wife, who recently said she has no intention of selling any part of the team, how does, how does all this news affect the Clippers on the court, considering they're engaged in a tough series against the Oklahoma City Thunder? You know, I think that the Clippers are used to talking about situations off the court. They will kind of defer to the doc for these kind of things. But when we do bring it up to players, they basically say, listen, I'm just focused on the game. This kind of stuff, though, is not as big as the comments made by Donald Sterling. I thought that was really the one-week time period where the players had to get through. This new stuff is long-term. You know, who is going to run the team going forward? So right now the players aren't concerned about that. And did Doc have any say in terms of the hiring of Dick Parsons? Yeah, you know what? Doc was actually consulted during this time period was told that this was the choice. So they would not have made a choice if Doc did not approve of it, I don't think. That's ESPN LA's Arash Markazi. Arash, thanks as always. My pleasure. I'm Kerry Chow with your latest ESPN headline.